So how to build your own business, how to always stay in profit on cryptocurrencies and how to open your own cryptocurrency exchange form, get to know in this video. Hello, uh, my name is Alex and I'm from Mirhat company. Today I would like to tell you about the advantages of having your own cryptocurrency exchange platform. Uh, nowadays there are three major ways of making money out of cryptocurrency. Uh, the first one is mining and I will tell you that mining nowadays became unprofitable because you gotta spend lots of money on electricity and the GPU units cost lots of money as well. Uh, the other way is trading uh, Bitcoin. Uh, you will have to okay if the Bitcoin's price uh, will go up, then you make the money. But what if the Bitcoin exchange rate uh, would go down? Then you could lose a lot of money as well. If you are having your own cryptocurrency exchange platform, you will always stay in profit, but because you will make money out of the amount of the exchange transactions your clients will make. So by taking some little fee, but let's say that you will have a few thousand people, a few thousand transactions daily, you would need, you would make lots of money this way. Uh, what are the types of the cryptocurrency exchange platforms on the market right now? Uh, it's a mint to user exchange platform, P2P exchange platform, decentralized P2P exchange platform, and the exchange with uh, margin trading leverage. So, uh, the administrator to user exchange platform, it's like, uh, it's suitable for beginners and it's easy for those ones who are just diving into the cryptocurrency trading. Uh, it has simple interface, uh, no limited orders, exchange take place uh, like instantly between the administrator and user, but you would need to have a balance, some balance on your platform as well. And you make money due to exchange rate, so you can make your own margin as you wish. Uh, P2P cryptocurrency exchange platform is the most popular one. Uh, the platform does not buy or sell anything from uh, customers. Basically, it's like a market where you get percentage out of the transaction. The decentralized uh, cryptocurrency exchange platform uh, it works directly with the blockchain technology. It's so-called on-chain transactions. Uh, the users have the ability to recover their data and the exchange, uh, like those types of exchanges, they are the most protected ones, but they have the limited functionality at the same time. Uh, the exchange with margin trading and leverage, um, it's very complicated exchanges. It's, uh, it takes lots of time to deploy uh, such systems. Uh, basically, like um, the platform on which you can open positions with futures uh, and swamps and receive money of them, and uh, oh, basically, yeah, it costs a lot of money as well to to build such platform. Uh, before, uh, like the other option, you have to understand it's uh, what markets are you targeting. And it's easier to work in those countries where Bitcoin is allowed as an official way of payment, uh, like Japan and Australia, uh, but uh, some other countries are becoming more loyal in this case, like Venezuela. However, uh, you have to remember about other aspects as uh, marketing and demand in this part of the world. Uh, they also what what also matters is uh, what uh, how many uh, cryptocurrencies you will trade. Uh, the more currencies you provide for users, uh, the greater and richer the audience you will have on your platform. Uh, the other thing, the other question our subscribers have is uh, about the jurisdictions and registrations. Uh, first thing you have to know that if you are trading just cryptocurrency, it's not necessary to register your company and it still will be legal. 
The other thing is when you need to integrate fiat money. What is fiat? Fiat is a national currency of any country. For, for example, USD, dollars or euros. And um, in this case, you will need to register your platform and uh, it is possible that that country might uh, require a license for this as well. Uh, such features as KYC, Know Your Customer and AML, uh, Anti-Money Laundering, are necessary uh, process for you. What do you have to know? Uh, like the best countries to register your platforms nowadays are probably Estonia, Switzerland, Australia and uh, I think Singapore. Uh, offshore uh, jurisdictions of course as well, like Seychelles. Uh, cryptocurrencies architecture, let's talk about this. Um, it has three ways, like monolith, uh, modular and uh, distributed. The monolith uh, architecture is when all modules are built in one. So it, it, you have only one server for this and uh, the wallets, the payments, accounts and administrator, it's all in in one server and in one like um, structure. Uh, it's very fast to deliver such platform, but at the same time it cannot support lots of customers. Uh, the modular architecture is the most convenient one. Like this type of architecture um, consists of independent, easily manageable modules. Uh, each module will be on the separate server and it can uh, not integrate, it can uh, support thousands of customers. It doesn't matter, it's, it's not hard for this such a platform. And uh, the maintenance and improvements uh, in such platform are pretty much convenient. The other way is distributed platform. Uh, basically, it's like an evolution of the previous architecture when each module has a sub-module. Uh, this type of architecture is the fastest one, um, but you gotta pay lots of money because the platform would require a lots of services, uh, servers, and for this you, you need to spend lots of money to maintain it and support. Uh, the cryptocurrency exchange platforms also consists of the uh, following components. Like first one is a graphical user interface, the secure private system for administrators, uh, moderators, and owners. Uh, it needs to have a target a trading engine and uh, cryptocurrency wallets and of course the other topic uh, the other very important topic is the liquidity uh, let me tell you a few words about liquidity and the uh, wallets module so basically wallet models consists of two parts uh, cryptocurrency wallets and fiat wallets uh, the wallet module assumes that uh, the exchange uh, like is connected to some to blockchain technology and it has the most um, like the most needed functions as depositing and withdrawing money of course uh, it also has trading pairs and uh, the management and it's also like trading pa uh, pairs and their management are also included in this uh, module Integration of fiat money may seem necessary, but uh, the cryptocurrency uh, people <laughs> who have decided the cryptocurrency, uh, they are against the government, they are against the um, high taxes and they are from against transparency. So um, these tasks are main for cryptocurrency. Uh, liquidity. Liquidity is the cornerstone of P2P exchange. Um, in an order book, an order book shows uh, how popular your exchange is, the amount of transactions and orders. And uh, to solve this problem, you have to use two ways of liquidity solutions. Like the first one is 
to have third provider, like uh, you can use uh, the third provider to provide liquidity and it can help only for certain payers like Bitcoin, Ethereum or Bitcoin dollars and uh, it's very hard to find a provider who can solve like uh, who can provide uh, transactions for very narrowly focused payers or new coins and uh, if you will find such such provider the commission might be very huge there uh, the other type of liquidity is market makers. Uh, actually, this is a very exciting point. Uh, this is an house development of Mirhat company, which engaged the delivery of medium-sized cryptocurrency exchanges for tremendously like tight deadlines. Uh, in the cryptocurrency exchange, market makers are trading bots that build using in artificial intelligence and they are carrying out transactions for specified trading pairs, uh, pairs. like uh, their advantages are mm, very undeniable. First, they are free and unlike a liquidity provider, they are flexible to customize, they work with any trading pairs or coins. The key features and capabilities. Uh, any cryptocurrency platform needs to be easily customizable and uh, safe, of course, easy to manage and it has to be quick as lightning in, in performance. Uh, what team would you need to build a cryptocurrency exchange platform? Uh, you will need to have one project manager, uh, QA engineer, uh, one designer, UI developer, and about two or three platform developers. And in general, it takes uh, from two to three months to deploy the cryptocurrency exchange platform. As it is said before, uh, like you will need to spend a good portion of resources in order to build your own cryptocurrency platform but what can i tell you that my company might help you in this process and if you want to receive a demo access please drop me the email it's gonna be under the video everyone have a great day ahead um, it was alex goodbye and take care of yourself